Hello everybody, I'm Enchanted Moon and welcome to my channel. I have an unboxing for you today. A big white box came. It says, please handle with care. And this is from Sacred Space Crate November. Can't believe it's November, guys. This year is flying by. Okay. I don't know the theme, so this is always a fun, fun event. That's a mystery to me. Oops, can't open it. It's tight. Here we go. Ooh, it says favorite. It's blue. First, let me share this. It's blue. It grew, a great full heart is a magnet for magic. And it's blue paper. Okay. The theme this month is favorite witchy things. To me, that could be anything. So, I'm not going to look any further. And we'll do this last. Because then I'll know the spoilers and I don't want to know. It smells so good. All right, let me get you better aimed at the box. All right, let's see. November, we got the blue paper. And we got our noodles. And right on top, we have Awakening Incense. Cute little sticker. Their incense is always so delightful. It really is. I don't know if she makes it herself, but they smell so good. Mmm, does smell. It smells awakening, like it would awaken you. I can't explain. It's uplifting. That's what it is. Mmm. Very cool. Awakening. Alright, let's see what it's about. So, the next thing I grab, it says High Priestess Ritual Candle. High Priestess right there. There we go. Pentacle. Can you guys see that? High Priestess. And then we have our affirmation on top. And we have a gold tin. Oh, look how pretty that is. Mmm. A high priestess lies within, mentally move to your center until you reach a vast openness beyond all else. Breathe in your knowledge of all you need to know. We have ah, an empty blue sachet. Very pretty. So I mean, there's something floating in here. We have a burdock root salve. Silver tin. Each month we get a homemade salve. And that's that pretty on that one. This is heavy. Then we have our bubble, which looks like our herb. It's jasmine. Our herb this month is jasmine in our cute little jar. Jasmine. I love these. I'm getting a collection of these. Oops, so we got that, that, that. All right, this thing is heavy, whatever it is. All right, I'll grab it last. We have a witch's brew tea. Ooh, ingredients is raspberry leaf, nettle, lemon peel, vitax, lemon verbena, linden flower, cinnamon, rose petals, and stevia. Cute, look at that witchy. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Very nice. 
whatever's in here is holding up the bottom, so. All right. We have our oil, it looks like. Our oil this month is Come To Me. Another very pretty label. And the oil is really pretty as well. Look at that. It's so pretty. All right. I wonder what fell out of my box. Ah! Lapis Lazuli stone. That was what had to be in here. Lapis Lazuli. All right. I can't grab what this is. Let me grab this. We have a blue velvety bag and a little charm on it that says tarot. Can you see it, guys? I want to make sure you get to see it. There you go. So you have that. So I'm assuming we're getting a tarot deck. Considering I have that. All right. Um. Ooh, this is a deck I don't have. This is a comes in a blue sachet. And it's this Tarot of the Divine, a deck and guidebook. This is a really pretty deck. So, this is the box. Isn't it pretty? I will definitely go over the cards with you guys so you can see them. Just, okay. So that is our deck. It opens like really nice. And then we have our book. And it has color pictures throughout. And a couple spreads. And you, this is, whoop. This is what it looks like. And has this little pull, so you can pull them out. They're not wrapped, but they do have this little covering. They're really pretty. They feel nice. They have a nice feel to them. And let's show you the full. It's like a hurricane. I'm afraid we're going to have a tree come down.
because it's sounding scarier and scarier. All right, that is the major arcana, and then this is the cups. Jesus, so scary. Wind scares me because when you have so many trees, you never know. A lot of cards. I know 70 cards, but hey, <laughs> it seems like more than that. But just so you get to see what they're about is nice. So if you're interested in a deck, you can get to see it before you buy it. A lot of color. Definitely has like to me like a an Asian uh, and a, like a Walt Disney feel to it. Oops! Almost knocked over my jasmine. Okay, so that is the deck. I'm going to put that back in here nice. Okay. So that is the Tarot of the Divine. And that's the pretty box. And I don't know if there's anything else in here, but there I think there is because it was a yellow bag in here. And I couldn't figure out why I couldn't lift it up. Ah, I see why I couldn't lift it up. Wow. We have a gold bag. Look at this. I mean, I know I got a lot of noodles here, but let me get this off. Okay. We have a gold big sachet. It kind of looks like, this one says beneath the moon. Got a beautiful book here and it says beneath the moon. It kind of matches the tarot. It's obviously made by the same author. Fairy tales, myths, and divine stories from around the world. So it is a book that is, wow. Production.
So that's nice. See, I kind of am sipping beauty. I think it incorporates the cards and the meanings of where she got the ideas. So that is really... In this riveting collection, beloved fairy tales, cultural fables, ancient mythologies, and inspirational deities are brought to life, including Rapunzel, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Tredant, the Crane Wife, and dozens more. Yoshi retells 78 delightful stories paired with lush, enchanting illustrations. So... I guess this is her book. And then maybe she created the um, the deck after this book, after her art, I'm assuming, because these are all different stories. Really nice. This is a nice box. And that's it, right? Yeah, that's everything. This was a really beautiful box. The beautiful book, the beautiful tarot. All right, let's see what the favorite witchy things. Gratitude unlocks fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace to for today and creates visions for tomorrow by Medley Beatty. I am so grateful and blessed to have you as a subscriber. I love curating magical items, so being able to pass on my family spells and ritual is, rituals is fulfilling my purpose. Thank you so much for making this possible. I have been very excited to curate a box of items that not only I not only love, but have also used been useful in my practice. I hope you are able to. I hope you are able to connect to all the love that I have put into this box for you. So, tarot book, tarot of the divine deck and guidebook. I bought this deck at the beginning of this year, and the art and the stories brought me happy tears. I love the diverse stories and legends that this deck represents. I take a step forward. On your spiritual journey with this generously illustrated celebration of deities, folklore, fairies, tales from all over the world. The path to enlightenment is unique for all of us, but many of the lessons we learn are shared by stories passed among cultures and generations with rich, vibrant art and keen understanding of traditional tarot archetypes. Illustrator Yashi infuses tarot of the divine in worldly insight and intriguing selection of fables and folklores from cultures across the globe. So very, very cool. Major Arcana cards are brought to life with characters from beloved stories who embody the fool's journey from the Danish fable of a native little mermaid, um, a China's beauty and the beast. Okay, so that is this baby and it comes with the color guidebook in here then she goes into beneath the moon book the tarot of the divine deck experience is not complete without her book beneath the moon so that you can dive deeper into her understanding and intentional meanings of the cards plus this book would be wonderful to pass down to the next generation who does not love bedtime stories of the divine legends powerful and universal retellings of 78 divine stories legends and myths from around the world each accompanied by gorgeous illustrations from the acclaimed artist yoshi many of these lessons learned are shared story oh, same thing anyway like i said this is amazing this book right here is 18 dollars the deck alone is 20. so right there you're looking at 40 bucks okay then we have the hand sewn tarot bag that you put the little tarot on for your cards matching the blue to protect your cards then we got the high priestess ritual candle i have saved this high priestess candle specifically for this box because i have const 
consistent results with it. This candle works great in allowing you to see beyond your hand, your conscious <laughs> with clarity. It is perfect to light before giving a tower reading. I handmade these myself. They are hand poured with 100% soy wax. Three crystal chips are laying in the bottom of your candle, not only for, to magnify your magic, but to, for its ability to enhance psychic abilities and spiritual communication. Amethyst chips are laid directly around the flame for its abilities to open your third eye and raise your consciousness. Jasmine's flowers are also surrounding the entire candle to bring you all its magical properties for divination and clarity. Jasmine is also used for getting the goddess, gifting to the goddess, if this is your practice to work with the goddess energies. And then there's a ritual suggestion if you'd like. Then the jasmine flowers are by far the most used flower in magical workings. I love to work with the goddess energies and these are great offerings to use for most goddesses. If you do not work with the goddess energies, then you still in luck because these powerful flowers have a vast array of magical properties such as spiritual love, sensuality, clarity, happiness, prophetic dreams, healing, beauty, confidence, fairy magic, prosperity, friendship, moon magic, and divination. Lapis Lazuli Polished Stone is the most sought after stones since man's history began. Its deep celestial blue remains the symbol of royalty and honor, gods and power, spirit and vision. It is a universal symbol of wisdom and truth. Lapis Lazuli opens your third eye and its intuitive senses when you use conscious intent. It's a good stone for helping you remember your dreams and promoting clarity during dream time. It opens and, ba opens and balances your throat chakra. Also protective stone. Back contact spirit guides. Guardian, excuse me. Come to me. Pheromone, pheromone oil. My Come To Me spray is the most popular spray in my online store. It's a challenge to keep it stocked, but trust me, the scent works almost too well at bringing in what you want. People and animals do seem to clamor to you while you wear it, so not ideal to use when you want to be alone. This oil works the same, but you use the oil on your pulse points. This oil has no essential oils, so for those of you that do not use essential oils on your body, this one is a pheromone reactive perfume with an oil base. I am willing to try that. And then the witch's brew tea. This tea is chock full of planets to enhance plants, planets that enhance your divine feminine energy. The main ingredient is raspberry leaf and nettle, which strengthens your womb. The womb is the most magical and important power in our world. Linden flower has been used to promote calmness and control anxiety. Lemon peel and lemon verbena were added for its magical properties for happiness and beauty. And the cinnamon is to elevate your powers and rose petals, not only a flower of love, but sexuality stimulation. So, and it is caffeine free. Then you got the awakening sticks. Awaken your body, mind, and higher consciousness with these amazing smelling incense sticks. A lush fruit of floral scent with notes of red apples, juicy citrus, jasmine petals, lily of the valley, rose water, warm amber, and sheer musk. This is my go-to incense anytime I need clarity. Burdock roof salve has been used for centuries to improve symptoms of rosacea, eczema, and psoriasis. Burdock root works, works wonderfully as a salve because it sits at the surface where the rash is longer than an oil or cream, therefore offering more relief of symptoms quicker and longer. Burdock root was ground into powder then infused into two-thirds with sweet almond oil and the third sunflower oil. For two moon cycles, for your all your apothecary goddesses, I use this on my skin rashes with great results. Then the moon and zodiac calendar. This month's calendar has been included 
in every month's box. Many of us form a lot of our practice around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of our energy on Earth within our bodies. It is especially important in understanding what the energies we are surrounded with so we can use the energy accordingly. The artwork this month's calendar was designed by Samantha Trick. Samantha would like to extend a special 20% discount to all my subscribers for any of our artwork online. So you can use the discount code SACRED20 if you'd like. Next month's theme is Yule. I'm very excited to start curating this box. This is the time of year when it feels like the entire world believes in magic making the energy of the universe ideal for magical work. So please feel free to contact me with any comments, concerns, or suggestions. And this is the November beautiful art calendar. It says thank you on there. And of course our, I love this, I put it in my refrigerator and I use it daily. And on the back it has the zodiac and the moon. So this way you can look it up. When the moon goes into void, I don't think there's any uh, retrograde, so I think we're okay. So that's good. So it tells you when the full moon, last quarters, all that good stuff are. And I love these. So what do you think of November Sacred Space Crates? Favorite witchy things. I thought this box was awesome. And I can't wait to dive deeper in it. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this station, please hit like, subscribe, notification, ring that bell. This way I can get more of these videos out to you guys. Look forward to seeing you. Have a great, great week. Bye now.